Uh, uh, verbal delegation, uh, huh, in that society, Dr. Brown, Mr. Deity, uh, uh. Politics, money, religion, they divide us. Let's bring it back together with some K's right beside us. Stars shine bright, sucker, how you gon' hide us? Higher than planes in Malaysia, you can't fly us. Politics, money, religion, they divide us. Let's bring it back together with some K's right beside us. Stars shine bright, sucker, how you gon' hide us? Higher than planes in Malaysia, can't fly us. Mr. D and see where you been in my corner of the ring, fighting life, trying not to get counted out or throw in the Towel on the ropes, I'ma lean till my vision see clean blood in my eye. This world is a bad dream. As long as money's king, I feel funny in my being. You can see it when I walk, and you hear my shackles cling. I max bigger picture, niggas still don't see a thing. It's 2014, still flag torching. Fucking inflation make it hard to cop groceries. So don't be surprised if someone run up with that sorcery. Levitate your wallet, give me the loot. Chris Wallace, capitalizing democracy. At his walrus, sucker through the trees. I'm the forest, I'm the earth. You a Taurus, I'm black Jesus. You don't know who a saw is. Hannibal Bucarius, every bar is a battalion. Spirit of a panther with the Kevlar medallions. Politics, money, religion, they divide us. Let's bring it back together with some K's right beside us. Stars shine bright, sucker. How you gon' hide us? Higher than planes in Malaysia, you can't fly us. Politics, money, religion, they divide us. Let's bring it back together with some K's right beside us. Stars shine bright, sucker, how you gon' hide us? Higher than planes in Malaysia, can't fly us. They still got our children pledging allegiance to flag that spill red and blue blood to white out history we had. No Django eight years ago took my chains off. Four men saw a hotep and took James off. 80% of prisons overpopulated with color. Brothers, 30% of our children aborted by mothers. Most of the gun violence is a brother on another. Most of the work on the street, we sell to one another. Uh, what's the equation to these mathematics? When you control the minds and the economy, multiply the madness. The ghetto's an experiment created by your masters. We tried to change that shit, but they killed all the Panthers. Fred Hampton, bullet holes in a bloody mattress. This Liberation Patriot Act, terrorist action, sponsored by your local rep. Revolutionary rapper, I voted for assassination. You can cast my back. Politics, money, religion, they divide us. Let's bring it back together with some K's right beside us. Stars shine bright, sucker. How you gon' hide us? Higher than planes in Malaysia, you can't fly us. Politics, money, religion, they divide us. Let's bring it back together with some K's right beside us. Stars shine bright, sucker. How you Man, gon' hide us? Of Higher than planes in Malaysia, you can't fly us. Politics, money. Religion, they divide us. Bring it back together in the morning. Stars shine bright, sucker. How you gon' hide us? Higher than planes in Malaysia, you can't fly us. Politics, money, religion, they divide us. Let's bring it back together with some K's right beside us. Stars shine bright, sucker. How you gon' hide us? Higher than planes in Malaysia, can't fly us. They divide us. K's right beside us. How you gon' hide us? How you think planes in Malaysia can't fly us? They divide us. K's right beside us. How you gon' hide us? How you think planes in Malaysia can't fly us? To know the difference between mobilization and organization because the enemy will use mobilization to demobilize us. Mobilization is very easy, very, very easy. Because since we're people who are instinctively ready to respond against acts of injustice, anytime there's one little act of injustice, we can blow it up and we'll find people who come and make some mass demonstration around it. Miss Sally lost a job. Let's rally. She had a job back. People will come and rally. So and so got kicked out of school because the teachers and just the unjust, the people who come and rally, they will come to rally at issues. And this is what mobilization does. It mobilizes people around issues. 
Those of us who are revolutionary are not concerned with issues. We're concerned with the system. The difference must be properly understood. The difference must be properly understood. Mobilization usually leads to reform action, not to revolutionary action. If we would look scientifically at the October 16 million and more march, we would see clearly that this was a mobilized event, not an organized event. We must know clearly the difference between mobilization and organization. One of the characteristics of mobilization is that it is temporary. Organization All right, family. is permanent and eternal. I need to do something. Clear differences so must Facebook. be made because the unconscious on. can usually be captured easily around on. one issue Leave items, nowhere. around mobilization items, but it's hard on. to catch them around organization. But these unconscious must be brought to organization. We must transform mobilization to organization. We say the enemy will come and use mobilization to demobilize us. Many... All right, family, um, you had, excuse me, we had to drop the stream, although it's still streaming, the stream is still live, we had to drop the stream, so speaker, bear with us for a second while I get stuff reset up. Better yet, let me hold off for another few seconds. What, what, I, what, what happened was I had created, I had created, um, I created a video last night. I created a video last night and I was trying to upload and I thought it, I didn't I didn't think it would take that long because I am plugged into the ethernet, but it's taking a little bit longer than I expected and that length of time is killing the feed. So right now people online are probably being cussed out by the Giami boys right about now cuz that's how they get down. Thank God. All right, it's done. So what I'm going to do is now, we're going to go back and we're going to close this out. Lord have mercy. I didn't know that it took that much, but okay. But let me, I need to move both of these into a folder. Hold on. I need them to go into the video course folder. All right, let's just move, just move it. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to organize this because... I, I I created some videos to help the elders because they was like you know well it ain't just the elders, you know just you know basic how to use uh how to use um YouTube I mean how to use uh things like uh Facebook and YouTube video course basics okay I want to move that one into uh I want to move this this how to use we video. I want to move that into that folder as well. I'm also uh, doing demonstrations on how to use uh, a video recording software that I use called um, We Video. So now that I got both of those logged away, because I'm on, I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna upload the videos up to the the family members who are members of G&J Media Support, you know, and they can share how they want to, but, you know, I'm also going to offer them on our, on our spot for, you know, little or nothing, but, you know, you can donate something to the cause, because we helping you, <coughs> you helping us, but if you are, if you are, if you are a supporter, you don't have to worry about that, because you helped us put it together, so let's just get to it, um, let's get to the opening scene, boom, that Adam and Eve myth interpreted as it was as it was later on in history led to profound conceptions of the woman as inferior and sometimes in some civilizations as essentially evil. So she, so she's supposed to be the great seductress, the weaker kind, etc. This was not the case in the African mythology. So that you already had a divine myth which gave a basis. It was a sort of bedrock for a reality that would give the woman greater freedom and power. It is not an accident, therefore, 
that many of the goddesses of the Europeans were black. They could have chosen their own women, they chose some of their own women, but the most important goddesses were black. Not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profound women, but the most important goddesses were black. Not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her, is Circe, who's represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the Golden Fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is a Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. 
Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Take your breath. And pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Shouts out to the articles of ADOS. Shouts out to Brother Kwame. I don't know why you can't hear nothing because I'm not in. The sound is coming through. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, drink. Y'all know I'm running late. Drink your water. I just can't help it. I just can't help I guess I could. I guess I could. I sat up and look, looked at the ceiling for about half an hour, listening to some news and to some other uh, videos. Y'all know I be on the video thing all the time, trying to, trying to keep up with what's going on in the world today. But hey, hey, first off, I want to welcome you to the Congregation of the Mighty, the Congregation of the Mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Jer. Media Of course you know this is a heart of a simple production And this is the Daily Toast And I want to say great emoji to all of you My fault Well we strive, strive, strive To blow up Your old Paradigm Man, let's get it started. Let's get it cracking. Let's get it popping, family. The bait and switch. Oh, the bait and switch is on. They moving for you. They moving for you. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we even get to the toe fair, I'm sorry. I got to do it. I got to go to my news screen. Oh my God. All right, all right. There's an article in the paper, and I, I, I. Uh, those on those that are joining us on our um on Instagram, those on Instagram family, please go to go to gnjmedia.live or jo- look go to our page on Facebook so you can see. Here's the article: Ohio could set new statewide standards for police handling of protest. Oh, the bait and switch, the bitchcraft. It's a foot. Early, early on, on the Mojo morning, I get up and I read this shit and I'm like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you change the policies and you change the agreement with the Columbus Police Department and you really, really work to help make black folks whole in this country, you don't need to change the protest standard because the only motherfuckers that y'all try to get at are those that protest on our behalf. So, we will change the discussion to the protests and changing of the protests and how they handle protests rather than dealing with the issues that lie at the bottom of why people are protesting. It's switching. It, uh, they're playing with you. Don't fall for it, family. Don't fall for it. We need to maintain the focus. What is the what is the focus? Right? What is the focus? 
right? Because a lot of people, like, you know, like yesterday we saw Candace Owens talking about that the focus was we was elevating the lowest denominators in our community. And that homeboy, George Floyd, was not, he wasn't a hero. He wasn't a martyr. Missing the whole point. That's that bitch crap. I'm acting confused. I'm acting like I don't understand. So I'm throwing you off. I'm throwing you off. Right? That's the trick. Right? We're going we're gonna to throw out all these other issues and have you miss the major issue that you need to be dealing with. We know that the, the police department has, in a sense, had an itch in his ass to try to take our lives. Every opportunity they get. That's the suspicion. How do we deal with that? How do we bring justice to black folks, especially ADOS right here in this city of Columbus, in the state of Ohio? What can Ohio do? What can the state of Ohio do to make things right for ADOS here in Ohio? Hell with the protest, man. The protest is a response to the response of the people. So we don't want to deal with the response to the response. We want to deal with what caused the causative factor. See, as long as people keep you fucking with and messing with effects, you will never be able to get to the root, to the cause. You got to get to the cause. What is the cause for all of this that's going on here? Why did it spread to Ohio? If things was working well in Ohio, it would not have spread here. Let's be clear. If things were good for black folks in, in, in Ohio, we would not be, they, people wouldn't be in the streets. So how do you fix it? Right? This is what the discussion need to be. Now the whole discussion about the standards for police handling the protest. What? See, don't allow Please don't allow yourself to be derailed. Don't go for the bait and switch. Don't, don't. You don't play the shell game or the card game on the street, the three-card Monty. You don't do that. That's what they're trying to get us to do in politics. We're playing three-card Monty. No, no, we're changing the game, family. That's what we're here for, right? We're here now. We woke. We're in a different place in a different time. We're in a different spot in the universe right now. Our galaxy has even moved and shifted. So it's time for us to start having a different language and like, yo, homie, that's not what we're here to talk about. I'm going home. That, the black woman sitting next to Mr. Kasich, Kasich she looked like, I, I, oh, my God. She looking down. She's like, oh, Lord. They're missing the point again. And they're missing the point on purpose. He said, spoke for 30 seconds about the injustice and then spent rest of dem dem uh, demonizing black people. See Owens. Yeah, my God. Bitchcraft. That's what that was. Candace Owens. What we got going on in Ohio is we got we got these these little coven of bitch bitchcraft practices. You know what I'm saying? And, and they're, they're, they're weaving their spells trying to get us off course. Trying to get us off course. You know what I'm saying? Get get us focused on something else so that they could go on and switch it out. Family, we got some momentum going. We need to go and use it. We need to go and use it and move ourselves, our families, and our tribes to the place where we need to be rather than being stuck in neutral for another 20 years. If we don't, And if we don't take advantage of it, family, we're going to be stuck in neutral. We got to start having those conversations. We have to start getting the people's minds ready. Because something big, because, I mean, if you thought, I mean, just think about how rapidly all this stuff is happening. We came into, 20, I mean, we ain't really even get our foot into 2020 before, I mean, like, you know, I mean, we, we, a toe, just, we dipped our toe into 2020 and sh shit went haywire, right? So, I mean, who knows what's coming next? Anyway, so now let's get to this toast, because, you know. Of course, I'm running late, so we need to get to this toast. Let's get off my news screen, and let's go on and get to the Daily Toaster screen. Don't want the music to start again. All right, so here we go. Um, So, uh, I got some of that ambrosia. Uh, 
uh, it's available. Yes, yes, yes. I got some available for the family. Family and supporters. Oh, hold on. Can y'all... I want to make sure they... Y'all can see it on Instagram. I want to make sure they can see it on... Ooh, dog! It's like magic! Oh, my God! Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, and the smoke flow. You see, oh, they can see it on Instagram. Y'all couldn't see it. Did y'all... Y'all see that? Y'all see the smoke coming out? On the, oh, my God. Now, this is the unfiltered. I like mine's unfiltered, as I tell y'all. We about to go and get our stuff popping, family. We about to do this toast, get the toast up. I got a new product for you. Well, not a new product, something that uh, some of us going going to try. Um, right now, it says we're dropping zero frames. So, I had that stuff running in the background, and it really, really messed up the stream. So, when I'm streaming, I can't do nothing else. Those of you that are... Um, uh, G and J Media supporters, there should be there should be something coming out for you early this morning. Um, I got uh, I did a video on how to use Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I know like for the young folks, they ain't gonna make a difference. You know, but you might be able to pick up some information on there. How to use it on your computer and how to use it on your phone. Uh, because uh, what's going on right now is that you know I have a lot of people like you know how do I share. You know, boom, boom, boom. So, you know, to accommodate that, Jamie, I mean, we putting together, I put together a little course, right? Put together a little course for uh, family on Jamie so that we could go on and, and get our stuff together, right? Get our stuff together. That's what we got to do. So we can start sharing information, like when ADOS has something or when Tywee has something or when Giami has something, we could just start really sharing. So I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on how to share. And I talked about the, you know, what I, as I know, how I know how to do, because I know there's other people know how to do it better, but there's at least three ways that you can share on Facebook, right? We went through those. All right, so now let's get to the toast. First off. Raising our glass to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift up our glass. We salute that creator. And guess what we say? That's right. No mystery. Ashe. From there, family, where do we go? Where do we go? And Elder Loner, if you out there, I will call you right after I get done with the broadcast. Um. All right. Now we move to our ancestors. This is my favorite part. Those of you that are tuning in. On gnjmedia.live, you can see the ancestor list. Anybody that have any ancestors that they want to add to the list, by all means do so. By all means do so. Add them to the list. Um, I have my pen. I have the black book. We are ready to accept your ancestors and accept you into our spiritual family. All right, family, here we go. So we're going to um, lift up our glass. We're going to salute our ancestors, and we're going to... We're going to toast them, but before we end it, we, of course, you know we got to say their names. I'm going to go as far as I can by memory. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Tex, Anna Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosie Lee Tilly, Georgia William Walter, Chris Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris Arfine, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Marco Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Flora, Montague Pitt, and Ben the L, Normal X, Pet Mont, Rob Malika Fakur, Dr. Marion Williams, Kojo Kamal, Edel Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf, Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Ector Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pauline, Alexa Brother, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trigg, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Judis, Kate. Uh, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renneman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois, Reverend Jane Smith, Lord Fernandez, oh, uh, oh, uh, I lost the rhythm. Oh, uh, I'm so shamed, family. I'm so shamed. I am so shamed. So I stopped at. Let's go at um. 
Rem J. Smith, Lewis Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mayor Elizabeth Walker, Rem Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ward Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Mel Dale Hodge, Mel Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Major Copeland, Jenny Clay, Burry Beattie, Sarah Weller, Vita Farmer, I go so Sue, Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn Theodore Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence Sim Carter, Joanne Thornton, Eric Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keach Therese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Darrell Giles Watson, Sparrow Slimmy Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Percy Moore, Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T, uh, what, what, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T, Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hedda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, May Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kenty, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quills, Randy Thornton, Bernie Quills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, Derrida Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Hugh Will, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Delta Caleb, Rosemary Marchineer, Elder Amitab Webman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Bay, Lacey Eleanor Howell, Franklin Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carlos Soya, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Tamika Russell, Dini Minaris, Gina Ruth Jones, Jaina Callahan. We have William Walter West, Nigel Perez, Elder Basiji Falani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Elise Waters, Dupritus Hines. Inez Bostic and the Bostic, Winifred Scatterbay, Wilson Haley, Emma Hine, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spradling, Kevin Spradling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Mary Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, the Cadney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosey, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingles, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingles, R.G. Finch, William Billingsley, Jr., Jennifer Sensabaugh, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Bradley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Word, the first day, Stratt, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots, Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G. 2 Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Goshe, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Marky Armstead, Diane, um, Diane Scott, Edgar Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, I'm Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eulen and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwilin and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Hare, Tubb McKay, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Becker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Becker, Aaron Nino, Baby Hatch, Hat Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, President Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Lily Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Cooper, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, May Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slay, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, May Williams, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Manella, Alvis Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erton Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, and West Staten, Joe, Jamel Alls, and Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, <coughs> Remy Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Barbara Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, J.C. Sanders, Laura Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Muriel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Catherine uh, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Herbin, Haroon Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Corwell Sr., Robbie Lee Carwell, Nevea Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rayshon Easley, Javan McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Anwar Benson Sr., at the H. McNair, Lois Fernandez, Jacqueline Broaddus, Reginald Alvin, Mazarin Coper, George Wan, and Monia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Evers McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, and Shelby McClendon. We have Joella Giles. We have James Carswell. We have Liberta Adams, lovingly known as Aunt Sis. We got Elder Shaka McNair, Anthony Brown, Jonathan Ford, Letty Gaucher, Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James, Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shang Lewis, Ronald Sheldon Jr., Damian Top with Steena Banks. We got Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac Cundiff, Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson,
Ness Words, Marshawn McKeel, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quasi Sample, Candace Simmons, Summer Clayton, Leonard Jones, Ali Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Elder Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Frank Smith, Stacey Trice, Denise Goray, Nathaniel Hassan Turner, Khalid is in transition. Um, Night, um, Nigel Turner, Demetrius Lewis Flynn, Alberta Woods, Geneva Simmons, Daniel Tilly, Angela Ligat, Sharipa, Oscar Kane, Audrey Gripper, Dominique Nichols, Ruth Elaine Johnson, Teresa Sambu, Aunt Maxine, Uncle James, Henry Monger III, Tamar Dowdy, Nicole Hayes, Julia Taylor, Richard Bozeman II, Ruth Carter, John Carter, Mr. Thorne, Johanna, Jasandra Lynette Lewis, Anderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry Essex II, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walton, Alati Sue Walton, Emma Walton, James Randolph Giles, Sonny Pete Walton, William Walton, Fred Powers. Elijah Juan Hakeem McComo, Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, also known as Dr. Creamy Mackey, Victor Bowden, Trusilla Kitty Berger, Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White, Talton Roger White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Johnson Carl White, Desi Woods, T.L.R. Woods, Lennox, Jim Woods, Lizzie Woods, Juanita Alexander Brown, Cynthia Ann Wright, Richard Dorsey, Annie Simpson, Jamara Simpson, Regina Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, Nettie Dorsey, Eleanor Hopkins, Edward Wester, Alice Wester, Ivy Wester, Arnella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samantha DeMond, Ethel Marshall, Steve, Dougie Shelton, William Bill Walker, Carl Rico Johnson, Kim Gray, Stuart A. Johnson, Edward Young III, Isaac Jackson Sr., Drusilla Murrow, Wayne Young, Christina Young, Thomas Young, Frank Murrow, Sylvester Foster, James and Lizzie Winston, Abe and Julia Lawrence, Ozell Leathers Sr., Gladys Coper, Ozell Leathers Jr., Geneva Jackson, R.J. Lacey, A.C., um, also known as Tutor Don, Saber Winston, Chris Kenny, Margaret Minter. Mary Smith, Juanita Florine Stith Gibbs, Carl William Duncan Jr., Janet Callahan, Danny Hill, Miko D. Nice Hill, Andre Martin, Mabel Williams, Terry Brown, Teresa Biddle, LeVon Kincaid, Carla Sawyer, Reverend De uh, Jesse Porter, Deacon Ezekiel Dennis, Brenda Porter. We got Craig Lee Jones, Granny Beulah, Papa Al Riesland, Inez Smith, George Gamble Sr., Joseph Garrett, LaShonda Jamar, and Leroy Raleigh. Family, we lift up our glass. We salute our ancestors and we lift up our glass. Man, it's such, it feels so good to be able to toast the ancestors every day, man. It's such a blessing, man. We living in a, we living in a special time. Raise a glass to our ancestors. Yo, let's play a game today. I want the old GM, the GM journey timeline. Those that make it this far, right? Go to our GM, um, a GM journey timeline on Facebook, right? And post up some words of wisdom that one of your ancestors left you with. Like, like. And you don't even have to write it out. You can record it and put it up there. You know what I'm saying? Make a small video. Like my grandmother used to say, the baby always want to sleep on the soft side of the pillow. Right? Took me a long, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It took me a while to get that one. The baby always want to sleep on the soft side of the pillow. Say, so, oh, man. But when it, when it hit, oh, it hit. I said, oh. Oh, she wasn't just talking about my kids. She dropped some. She dropped some international. She, she, she dropped some international information on me. It said, "Keep fading out." Well, shit. On my end, huh? Let's see. On my end, uh, it look good. It sound good. I, I don't know, bro. We we'll work on. It. I'm, 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 work in progress. Constant work in progress. Now you got me concerned because we got the Digi Fest coming up, and this shit is acting up. All right, man. Oh man. But anyway, post up some words of wisdom from one of your ancestors, right? From one of your ancestors. I mean, just some, just, and, and it, it don't have to be super deep. Deep. I like, I like those ones that don't sound deep. But then when after you after you experience them in life, you'd be like. <gasps> That's what she meant. Oh, have you ever had one of those moments where you was dealing with a situation and the words of one of your elders or one of your ancestors manifested right in your face? Like, oh, that's what, oh, damn. See, family, that's a beautiful feeling. But anyway, let's keep it moving. So now we move from our ancestors, move to the present moment. Family, I want to give all of those born on the Emoja Day. This is Emoja. I want to give you a round of applause. That's right. That's right. 
Happy days are here again. Man, oh man. Listen, listen, listen. So, all right, we are on a mojo. Is in this moment, we are on a mojo. Family, I'm gonna ask you to activate those rec- reticular formations. As I do as I do every day. I ask you to seek out your principles. Seek out your principles. You know what I'm saying? This is a ritual that we do every day. We seek out our principles, right? When you find it, post it up on your timeline. Post it up on Giami Journey. Hashtag Hashtag emoji found. Hashtag emoji. Ha- hashtag emotion. Emoji emotion. Hashtag emojis alive. Hashtag emoji. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag um, emoji day. Hashtag emoji born. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Just emoji in there and hashtag. You know, boom. Post it up. You know what Because we on the day of emoji. Help, help those that was born on emoji. Help them identify different situations where emoji is involved in there. You can even find emoji in chaos telling you right but anyway let's talk for that's that's conversation for another time but anyway we throw up our glass we salute this present moment and for those that need to know emoji means unity um demonic principle of the day is truth the color is violet that's why i got on my like my it looked blue but it's actual it's actually violet it's purple uh, mentalism is the hermetic law of the day. Male name for the day is Quojo. Shouts out to Quojo Abbio. I chilled with him on on Saturday. F- uh, female name is Ajua. I said I like that. I like how that roll off. Ajua, come here, Ajua. All right. See, I got to be careful because I be trying to liven up the thing on um, Instagram. I don't like that face lighting shit. This was just supposed to be some. Some lead lights flowing around my head and shit. I don't like look like it's lighting me up to the point where I don't got no goddamn eyebrows. I don't do all that. And it's unmanly. You know what I'm saying? And I just need some effects to keep people interested. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I can go back to just doing it. Y'all gonna keep on putting on this for crazy stuff on me. But anyway, that's that bitch crap. But anyway, we lift up our class. We salute this moment. We salute the power of this moment. We recognize the power of this moment and we will use it so that we can advance our cause and we can build for our future generations. And we say, I say from their family, we move to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. If you listen very closely, yes, I'm live. If you listen very closely, you can hear my baby snoring in the background. <laughs> if you listen very closely, you can hear my baby snoring in the background. We lift up our glass and we toast to our future generations. I don't know why they don't like going to their bed. But, you know, we're in quarantine times and it's going to be basically an enclosed summer because we don't know how this thing is coming back. We don't know how this COVID-19 is. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we we may have just seen the tip, the tip of the spear. Now that's, you know, but anyway, we lift up our glass to this moment and we say, I say from there we move to our future generations. And if I ain't told, I probably did that already. We toast our children, our children's children on to infinity. And we lift our glass. We say, I say from there we move to all of our relations. We toast and we say, I say from all of our relations, family, where do we go? Y'all know where we go. It's a very simple journey. We go to all of our relations. We toast. We say, I say from there we move and we lift up our glass. This is that selfish toast. This for you. What is it that you move? What, what is it that you need in this moment? To move to your greatness. Lift up the glass. I'm going to give you a second. Go and think about it. What is it that you need in this moment. To move towards your greatness. We say. I say. From last but not least. Family I want to toast the most magnificent. The most marvelous. The most beautiful. The most powerful. The, the, the wisest. And the bravest individual in the room. I lift my glass up to you. We salute you. And we say. I say. I say. I say, family, I wish you peace, power, and joy, hoy, hoy. right? Y'all going to have a great and marvelous day. I'm going to say, take a sip of this. Hot damn. Man, that double honey, oh, my God. Lord, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to have to hide some because my wife going to try to drink this shit up while I'm at work. All right. So let's get in. Um, Shouts out to the lovely Jay Ross. 
Jay the Boss, Ross, right? You, we ain't heard from her in a while. She, she kicked Brother Hot Tim to the curb and moved on to greener pastures because she called me an old man all the time. I'm not done yet, Lady J. I'm not done yet, and I'm not opening up the line so that you could give me a conniption before I go to work. I'm not about to do it. I'm not going to take your abuse, woman. Um. All right. So let's go to our, our news feed. All right. Um, we're going to go over here. Uh, so I was at the African store the other day. Um, I can't remember what I needed to go to the African store for. All right. Um, but I walked in and they had some cola nuts. Cola nuts, right? Let me pull one out so that you can see. I pulled one out so that you can see. Boom. There you go. They had cola nuts. And, so, you know, like I like experimenting with stuff. And, you know, um, for a long time, um, you know, in my studies, as I was finding out about my culture, I kept running into books that talked about the importance of the cola nut. Like you would go to a house and would visit. And one of the things they would they would offer you water and they definitely will offer you cola nut. Right. And it's like, boom, all right, cool. Culturally appropriate, something you can add to your diet. Very simple. And a lot of y'all, whether you know it or not, a lot of y'all that be drinking Coca-Cola, you know what I'm saying, or Pepsi, or RC Cola, are already partaking in the cola nut. But it's been surrounded by that. It's been turned into a syrup, and it's killing your ass, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you to the actual cola nut. That's what an actual cola nut look like. Now, what is it used for? Health benefits of the colon. Now. now, you could do your own research. I'm just going off of this. This is from uh, Medical News Today. The colon nut is used to flavor sodas and as a supplement to increase energy or improve health. But what are the health benefits of the colon nut? The nut comes from the evergreen cola tree, which is found in the rainforest of Africa. Inside the tree, star shaped fruits are white shells which contain the seed of or cola nut in nigeria it is an important cultural symbol for many ethnic groups it is given to guests at the weddings at funerals and naming ceremonies and it is used in medicine ceremonial breaking of the cola nut is important for making people feel welcome in a village or gathering the cola nut has some has some reported benefits for health here we explore those benefits. Hold on. I think Lady J is trying to hit me up. Let me go on to my thing so I can keep up with her. Why can't I call in? What you want to call in about, Lady J? I might open the lines. I might open the line. What get go on give me a go on give me a a, a a two sentence reason why you need to call in. I'll let you call in. Give me a second. The colon that you know I'm late. You know I'm late, girl. I ain't got, I ain't, and don't you start no shit with me, please. The cola nut has some reported benefits for health. Here we explore those benefits and other information about the tropical nut. Facts about the cola nut. The nut, the nut is relatively large, being about the size of a chestnut. The cola nut has a bitter taste, but becomes sweeter as it is chewed. I don't agree with that. The cola nut may be beneficial for certain health conditions. Whether taken in supplement form or chew, cola nut can uh, can have certain side effects. So let's go and look at some of the uh, some of the health benefits as well as. And so I'm looking at this, and I'm with, that's coffee. They can't tell me that's that's cola right there. That's coffee. Regarding the health benefits, of cola nut may be similar to coffee. Okay, I thought so. All right, health benefits of cola nut align with those of coffee. Several possible benefits of the cola nut and its products include the following. Now, these are just possible benefits, but it's not unhealthy. Let me say that to you. It's not unhealthy. It's a simple, I ain't going to say it's a snack food, but let's see some of the stuff that it could do. Because it's not. But it's something cultural, something from our ancient culture that we could throw into our daily use. All right? Uh, Boost the metabolism. Cola nut pro, uh, pro Cola nut products contain caffeine, which may give a person's metabolism a boost. 
aid to digestion. Cola nut powder and extract may help digest it. They are thought to promote the production of gastric acid, which increases digestive enzymes' effectiveness in the stomach. Increased circulation of caffeine and the, and the thobrimin in the cola nut may speed up the heart rate, which increases circulation. Boost to the energy. The cola nut naturally stimulates the central nervous system, which may increase alertness and boost energy levels. Antibacterial effects. One study reported in Journal of Bioscience Science and Medicine, because all these studies you can check and click for yourself, indicate that the use of cola nut extract might stop the growth of harmful bacteria. There are several health conditions that might be improved by consumption of cola nut. Prostate cancer. You can go and read that yourself. Slow metabolism. Migraines, asthma, uses. In certain African countries, the cola nut is chewed during ceremonies and rituals. It is also used to sweeten breath. Hmm. I just gonna, I ain't gonna chew on it. I just, you know, softly chew on it a little bit. But I don't, it take me a while. So another application of cola nut in the Western world is as a flavoring agent for sodas. Pepsi and Coca-Cola has built a fortune off of the African nut. Damn, that didn't sound right. <laughs> but that's what they did. They built a fortune off the African nut, right? Which the cola nut is, right? Why are we not using it, right? We know that we can make a drink out of this. So one of the things I think I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment and make a cola uh, ambrosia. All right. So so now as soon as I open up the lines, Lady J going to punk out. So Lady J, I'm going to open up the lines because obviously you got something you want to say. I'm opening up the lines just for Lady J. She's going to make me late as hell. But hey. Don't say I ain't have to do nothing for you, Lady J. Watch it on call in. I'm up online, Lady J. The call in number is 614-556-4535. Let me go and see if I can go and get that up there for you. Black line. I ain't never really had a a, a, a Moja morning call in. Maybe if I get up a little bit early, we could do call ins. But if people are interested in doing call ins early in the morning, so that y'all can report on some of the stuff out there, by all means we could do that. Um, lines are open. Y'all see, y'all, y'all see what I'm talking about? Open the lines. Oh, well, shut my mouth. Lord have mercy. Now, I don't know. That's not Lady J family. I don't know who picture pops up on my sister's uh, call, but that's not Lady. Anybody recognize this sister? Please let me know who it is because I want to know why her picture pop up on Lady J thing in my phone. But go ahead, Lady J. You got something you want to tell the world. What's going what on? What it looks like. Let me see it. You got to go to gnjmedia.live. I want to see the picture. You go to gnjmedia.live. It's up right now. But I got the lines open for you, woman. What What? What? Do- I just want to say, I just wanted to share this morning. I have so much to say. But I won't say a whole bunch. I just want to remind everyone if we um we won't um we don't know where we've been. I mean, I'm sorry. I just lost my train of thought. But I wanted to say, um, <laughs> in order to know where we are, we have to know where we've been. Okay. And um, one thing that I noticed. Um, for example, as I hear um, a lot of encouragement um, for African Americans not to celebrate the 4th of July and instead to celebrate Juneteenth. Um, one thing that I learned early in my studies is that several of our ancestors who wrote, um, who who uh, came out of slavery um, and talked about life uh, growing up in slavery and then uh, as adults not being enslaved, right? Mm-hmm. Um, either from escaping, um, most I mean, most of them from being escaping. One thing I read, and it, it always stuck out to me, was, well, two things. 
one thing is that they were adamant about not celebrating Christmas. Um, there, there has been warning about Christmas celebration partaking um, for forever, right? And so, um, Lady J, you dropped off. What's going on? Oh, one reason that our ancestors you for not celebrating Christmas is because Christmas was the only time they were given off, and it was a time when they were encouraged to spend money that they didn't have on things they didn't need, A, and B, they were encouraged to be drunk, right? Mm -hmm. They were encouraged to, 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 to partake in things like that that they weren't usually able to partake in. And, and so Christmas was frowned upon is something that they knew that we should not engage in the second thing was i'll never forget that um i read that they celebrated independence day at new Year's. now i know some people will say well um the emancipation proclamation didn't free all the slaves only the slaves in the confederate states which means that some state slaves the state north uh uh, of, of that um, of that that line, they still had slaves, right? I understand that, but again, girl, what's going on with your phone? Lord have mercy! I did not just open the line and get hung up on. Okay, keep back. I'm sorry, I tell my face keeps hitting the phone. It's cool. Buddy. Um. But, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. Um, I, I, I understand the symbolic um, symbolism of Juneteenth. I also understand, um, you know, why it's not celebrated and why there's African Americans out the country who have never heard of Juneteenth. Um, I understand the significance in certain places. But, again, I just wanted to share that tidbit that um, – a lot of our ancestors saw our Independence Day or the day that we should celebrate, and they would celebrate with fireworks and everything on New Year's. Um, yeah, and so that's the day I only celebrate to, uh, I, I say buy in. I don't buy into any consumer holidays, but um I've told my students for many years there's two the holidays that I will celebrate or, or partake in, and that's Thanksgiving and um, New Year's. And that's it for the most part. Okay. And those that, those that, that, those that have been listeners of, of, of G Army Journey will know that about you, Lady J, because those, those are the two. You have been consistent on those two, New Year's. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but I'm I'm excited, and I hope that Black people will um will be, will hold fast and will boycott. Um, I hate to say it, I felt myself turning into you, I tell, as I seen everyone getting excited. I just kept feeling like maybe I'm old, and that's the part that's like you. And then I was like, you know, I I have I why do I feel like I've been here before? Why do I feel like so? I'm just waiting to see if everything keeps up. But this is not the first time we've seen the cops murder a man on TV and have it streamed, I mean, on a video, and have it streamed over and over and over again, which I remind you causes post-traumatic stress disorder. Yes, it does. And it's no different than modern-day lynching, especially right. when we're sharing it over and over and over again. It's not... Um, it is, uh, again, I think that it's important to remember that these are not new. This is not new. The only thing new about this is that it's being recorded and shared. And I think that we always have to think about the good and the um, unintended consequences that come out of something like that. And and, and, and we got to keep socialization at the front for, forefront. But we really want to understand why it's able to, to be um, showed why there's no, there's not even, I, I accidentally stumbled upon the video and there was not even any uh, warning, uh, discretion. Yeah, right, no warning, no warning, nothing. Listen, no warning, no it, warning. 
And it's like, yo. That's and, by design. That's by design. You're right about that. Because there's certain, there's certain videos that come on where they will put a warning on. And a lot of those I skip right by because I already know what they consist of. And I still have only seen small clips of what, what happened with this brother. I can't sit there and watch this this murder porn. Because once again, like you said, they're not taking into account that that causes, that causes trauma. Right? It's like it's like that movie. And trauma and anxiety. See, it right. is one, one right. thing. Having it played over and over and oh, over again, man. that's a whole nother thing. And watching it happen to multiple people over right. and over and over again. It, right. it is by design. We get it. You know and, the no, are and, killing us. But listen. We and, get it. Right. Well, no. But the, the issue is they want to make sure we get it because the issue is just like with the lynchings or just like with the beatings on the plantations, we would be made to watch so that once mm-hmm. again, that it could be ingrained. It would be ingrained. Anxiety. Right. It would be ingrained. Mm-hmm. It's ingrained oh. because you already know what's going to happen. Now, and then, now, but like uh, the movie, uh, the Central Park Five, but I couldn't even watch the Central Park Five piece. Cause you know it's like a lot of stuff. I know how it's gonna end, so I'm like, I, I can't, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even watch that. You know what I'm saying? My wife's like, you need to watch this. No, you need to watch it. I can't, I can't watch, I can't watch. Yeah, I can't watch it because I get, I, I, I have this thing, and I think it's a Pisces thing where we heal people. You know what I'm saying? So we, got, we get we, our emotions. It would seem like it was happening to us. We be so damn mad and angry. And that's not good for that's not good. Know, especially when you're your age, right? Your high blood pressure. I'm, well, like I'm on the verge of high blood pressure with your old, officially old ass too. But listen, I was talking to, and this is a whole other issue as far as Pisces, right? Those those water and emotional signs, or, or just emotional pe- people. One of the things about Pisces, because I was talking to a, a mutual Pisces that we both know. And um, we just got into a conversation about the stuff that people share with us, right? Whereas on a whole, it's like it's like as a Pisces, not only do we have to carry, in a sense, our burdens, but it's like we are responsible for a whole lot of secrets. A lot of people trust and believe and know for a fact that they could go on and drop their shit on us. And keep it moving. Tell you some life changing shit. You be like, wow, they just like it's like just like every day for them and then they just gonna forget about it because they put it on the Pisces. You know? So you know, I I, I feel stuff deeply. So, you know, when I'm sitting mm-hmm. up here and I'm looking at this brother and, and looking at a brother, you know, see and, and I look at George Floyd, one of my sons, Sorrell, he looked he, he looked like Sorrell to me. You know what I'm saying? Damn near the same size. He he a little bit bigger than Sorrel. I'm sitting up here like, get the fuck up out of here. That you know, that's mm-hmm. that's three that's three steps from one of our sons. So I I am I am hoping that um the momentum, um, the outrage, um, none of those things uh cease. Um, I am hoping that we remember this when it's time for the fourth of July. Even though there will not be fireworks downtown, my my I've only I've always lived. Even when I lived in suburbs, I've always lived amongst black people, right? Always, I've always lived amongst black people, and I hate the Fourth of July. I cannot stand it, and I really can't stand the fireworks, right? And I know people go spend. As much as I spend on my rent and utility. On, on 4th of July? Yeah. yeah. What on you the mean fireworks. For the... so you oh, no. About, I, you got to buy fireworks. I don't, I don't know those type of black you, people. I'm sorry. We, let me tell you, we spend it on food. Shit. People. These people buy, you got to buy fireworks, you got to buy food, and you got to buy outfits. And you got to buy who? Outfits. Houses. You buy, buy something fly to wear. Where did you go on the 4th of July? And this is being, um, I could do a caricature on just that. Just that. Those three things, right? Those mm-hmm. three things. Now, all this time, every year we bring up back up the fact 
that there were no, I mean, there there were some free black people, but technically our, our ancestors were enslaved at that time, right? So it, I get, I call myself, I say I'm more American than some of these Americans I know. You know what I'm saying? Especially after my ancestors have been here longer than theirs. Say it again. But, you are. You are. You are. Yeah, I am You more are American. the sacrifice. You are the sacrifice that holds this union together. Your blood is the sacrifice that holds this motherfucker together. Not only that, but my people are the, and and some of the other, I'm not just going to say my people because there's some, uh, and I know you don't like me talking about the other people. I sure don't, so don't do it. Don't do it. I'm trying to go to work. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. white folks that came over here came over here, they wasn't shit, they parents wasn't shit, they grandparents wasn't shit, they never had a chance at mobility. So they they too only had a they 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 found an opportunity here. You know what I'm saying? But my people, we have been here and we are the we are the symbolism. We you, are symbolic of that you, idea. You would a you you would an opportunity you were the opportunity that they was looking for, Lady we, J. But I'm, we, I'm just going to shut are, up. We are the, sim, the symbol of what it means to pull yourself up from your bootstraps. Not only did we do it here in America, but we've done it throughout the world many times when they have come for our destruction. And um, that that is what it is. So when I think of <clears throat> this idea of even American dream, I think of my people because so many of my people are representative of just what that dream is. They kicked us, and what we do, we got back up. And not only did we get back up, mm. after using our slave labor to build this country, we used our intuition, we used our ingenuity, we used our resources, we used everything, our blood, sweat, and tears to build this country. So You're I, damn right. too, am America. I, too, am America. So with that being said, hi, Tim, um, I get the point where it's only, I, I get the point where some people want to say, I too should celebrate um, this, you know, New Year's because I too am America, but not at all. Not at all. Our day, for me, I will I will celebrate Juneteenth, but my day and a day that I wish that um, uh, uh, the black um, people, the black people would come together in, in agreement across um this year nation is that New Year's, um, out of honor for our ancestors as well, is a day that should be less sacred to us for our independence here in this country. All right, Lady J. Um, the question is, uh, when you gonna when you gonna start your show back? Cause you started the show and then you quit on me, and then um, you know, you I just add too much pressure. I, I just, hey, much hey, pressure. hey, listen here, Padawan. That's what it takes to become, uh, well, let, uh, Tara Hasa claims she's a Jedi and I, I'm a Sith, but it, that's what it takes to be able to exercise the power, regardless of whether I'm a Jedi or a Sith. You have to be willing to go through the test of fire and the consistency and always be on point and always be able to deliver. I know you could do it. I have faith in you. I, I don't do, I just do well on your show. I just need to have shows on Fridays. See, d- see, see, but hold on. Okay. See, just have a show on Friday. Wait, hold on. See, you require, but hold on. First off, let's be honest with the people. Lady J's old ass asked me to do a show on Friday, and not old push ups. At Nia, eight o'clock, you should do it at eight. On Nia, and she fell asleep. Her old, she she calls me old. So I did a show, waiting for Lady J to come on, and quarantine. she texts me a week later That's talking about I fell asleep. So you require me. You you require me to start another show so that you could be on my show. Listen, lady, listen. At eight o'clock. I do. On I do. I do nine. I do about nine shows a week. I need some of you young people with all that mouth. You should continue doing that. Okay. Can I tell you one last thing? Go I just ahead. gotta say this, and this is probably going to get me. You know, <clears throat> if someone calls. Someone will call me Uncle Tom, well, even though they'll be using that term wrong, right? But this is one of those statements. Somebody might even call me a coon. 
they might call me, um, and then my definition of coon is different from a lot of people's definition of coon, too. But some people, whatever derogatory words I have for African Americans these days, as this issue uh, also proves to divide us, right? Because we have, like, religion will divide us amongst ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But even the, in the quarantine, was dividing us because I had people who was just adamant you should wear a mask. And then I'll have people that that, that, that that wanted to unfriend me over the phone if they found that I had been in public. You know what I mean? So it's like, it, 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 it proved that so many things get the, the virus. And here we come to this situation with this police, I mean, with uh, <clears throat> with this black experience, I'm going to say, um, in the plight of our black men, correct? We come to this uh, 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 fork in a row, and you have people that are saying when you um, <clears throat> mention police brutality, you cannot mention um, black on black crime. And so, to that, I want to say this <clears throat> there are things that we can't control, and some things that we cannot control. And unfortunately, we don't have, um, we, we possess. We possess some means, but we don't have the power yet to control how people are socialized and, and the fear that is instilled in those people that go into certain professions. We don't control the media. And it's obvious that a lot of this fear that they have is something that has been perpetuated it's due to the images that we're going to talk about propaganda it's due to the images that have, they've been bombarded with, those images that have been perpetuated over the years. We know that. there's we I can't control that. You know what I'm saying? Some things that I can do to control or to contribute to um, the atmosphere as far as that, um, that you know, the, 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 the policing is that saying that we need to have some legislature that requires the officer, the uh, departments to um, diversify. And if they're, if we're going to require to do that, we also have to be um, ready to provide them with those individuals who will go into those um, positions. Because I know if we start requiring people to do it and you don't have the people that even, you know, people don't want to be cops because they're pigs and people don't want to be, um, you know, teachers either because they're not paid enough. But anyway, we 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 have to be ready to answer. But something that we can control, uh, I feel something that is in our grasp to control is what is te- taking place in our neighborhoods under our own eyes and thumbs. Um, and not that I'm saying that that too is not. Um, it is also re- related to this white inferiority and this whole <clears throat> um, and this whole system that they've. Uh, set up or not set up for for us, but I say that there's things that we can do to contribute, um, and and it needs to be done within the last couple months since since this um since this quarantine. I've just watched so many people, and I can't. And you know, at first I tell them I was confused. Cause I said, "How are people killing each other if we're on quarantine and we're on lockdown?" You know what I'm saying? But so many people have died, and several of these people have been either relate, uh, known to me or known to my family. You know what I'm saying? I, again, I have people who are hurting. My brother just lost his feet. You know what I'm saying? Um, so people are mourning. They're hurting. And I'm like, what can we do? Right? We mm-hmm. have showed up, and we have showed out, and I am so excited, and especially if we keep knocking at that wall, and we keep throwing those weapons, and we keep knocking, knocking, and we stay, and if we stay fast, we're going to get some, we're going to um, get some results. We're going to start, legislature's going to have to change. I've just been watching it. I see all these companies making these statements now coming, you know, coming out in support. Like, this, this might be a shake, and I'm hoping that it causes that, that, that ripple. You know what I mean? But then again, what are we going to do about our community? Then what is what are we going to do about where we stay at? Because I know white people kill white people at the same rate, but guess what? I don't live with white people. Their deaths don't come up on my timeline. I'm not affected. I'm not hurt because my people know those people. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm not affected. I'm affected by ours, and it's, 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 it's uh. And, and and I know that if it's affecting me this way, I can just imagine again the trauma that it causes for young people who keep burying their friends. 
people who died here recently, the, the murder, the string of murders that's been happening is from 16 to 24 high pounds. Ages 16 to 24. Like one night they had five shootings. Like when do we ever, I mean, what? that's got to be next. Do you agree, Hatim? Well, not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. I don't. Uh, because my issue is, once again, I call that the name of the show this morning was Bait and Switch. And what happens is that we often get baited and are forced to switch the focus of this. This What's going on right now is not about black folks killing black folks. It's about white folks killing white folks. I mean, white and, folks and, I, and, and I police officers. After. I huh? said after. Well, I mean, well, well, first, well, then, baby, all I'm saying is the challenge now is for us to get to after and to be clear on what we asking for and be clear on what we demanded because then we can set, as they say, we can set policies. You know what I'm saying? We can set policies where we can determine what's going to be happening because a lot of the stuff that we are seeing are results of <clears throat> broke motherfuckers killing broke motherfuckers. We got motherfuckers in poverty doing shit motherfuckers that's angry and have never really had have never nobody has ever taken their pain very seriously i like starting i like starting with what we can like what we can do i like starting in my front yard cleve said what's up right where i'm at at my school where i'm at i like hey cleve said what's up i know i can make i know i can make change and one thing that i know for a fact and i remember this and I'm not even gonna say it because that would just it, it would just cause a problem. But yeah, I don't cause no problems. That, I gotta leave. I'm about yeah, to leave. Yeah, I do want to say I do want to say that I am I am one of those Negroes, and I have been that same Negro because I have I have been into the Linda community and seen 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 what what that mur- I mean what that um, life is doing choking out. I mean it's choking the life out of our children. What, what, what is going on as far as violence in our community is choking the life, making those children grow up too fast. And that, that's what I'm going to say. When you're talking about post-traumatic stress from police, you think about post-traumatic stress at, in places like Linden. If you if your child is coming up in Linden, I hate to say it, and attending those schools over there, Linda McKinley and that other school, I'm just going to, I hate to say it, like, they're not okay. I hate to say it, they're not okay, because the level of trauma, the things that they have seen, the, people, the number of friends that they have buried, that can't be good for anybody's psyche, I tell. And when, when do we address that? But hold on, Lady J, Can once again, on wait, time out. You're taking the focus off of, See now you're dealing with one That's issue. Where the Wait, hold on, been for me you're for dealing. Years, you're de- ex- listen. You're dealing with one issue. As a group, we're dealing with one issue, and you're bringing up another issue, which once again will take the focus off of what we're focusing on right now. Now, regardless of. Oh, can I tell you something? I'm, I'm sorry. Can I tell you something that you noticed? I noticed that when people were marching, and I and I predicted this. And I know things never get, I, I know I, I said this many years ago because I was on the show and I would talk about how, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't mind the white people doing the calls, Latinos, you know what I'm saying? I had a Latin girl in New York, she was down and people didn't know we're just going to do black people in our group. You know what I mean? And I remember I did a show and I talked about if we, you know, when these marches when these protests happen because i am a fan of marching and protesting when they happen if you if what what gets the world's attention is when those people start to gather then other people start to gather right but when you got that mass people crossing these bridges and doing this makes a statement to the world but what i was saying what i was saying is who cares what another group what banner they marching marching under we we all had the same result. If we all shared the same common goal, even if we, I mean, you know what I mean. Even if it's for some different reason, or if, it, 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 if 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 my ambition for it is different, it doesn't matter. But I like to see that everybody 
was coming together downtown and different groups of people were doing different things. You got silent protests. Yesterday you had the prestigious protests with these black men in these suits, right? You had these protests where we're going to lay down and, 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 and um, uh, 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 lay down for eight minutes, right? You got so many different ideas, but they're all doing it at the same time. And no, and I and I don't feel that I know that what you're saying, Hi Tim, is that um, there's no there's no this is all about that. But what I was going to say is, if this is a revolution, it's all about everything. If this is truly a revolution, it's all about all of those things and it doesn't matter right now we want if we know that the system that I'm ex- describing with the violence in our communities we know that that's a a, a, a a source of poverty maybe there needs to be a war on poverty we know we we know that um part of this is socialization right mm-hmm. that we need to control the images we know this thing but I'm just saying if this is a revolution and we really about to take down the system we really need to keep in mind all the reasons it needs to be dismantled, not just because of these these crooked uh, cops, because there's and, and, and hold, on, system, hold on, hold on, what I'm saying. Prisons from school. There's a whole other system that's going. We need to we need to be marching and fighting and addressing and calling on all. If this is a revolution, if not, if it's not a revolution, then I'm gonna shut up. And well, we listen, listen. Doing what we doing? But hold on, time out. Now I hear you. Now, you saying there's a revolution, and that's cool. But what I'm saying is when you allow the argument of black-on-black crime, when it's more, it's more of a crime of poverty and who's close to you, and really look at it as an issue when you know that there's other groups that got crime going on in their shit, but the only reason they, we're not talking about it is that they're not because we don't live with them who cares but no but hold I don't on hold on cool good. but if if we live with this and we know what's going on and we know what some of the reasons are of why this is going on then once again like you said that's, you that that need I'm, that need to be so the agenda the cause need to be the agenda not the now fact i'm ready to piss the people off i'm gonna piss you off and then i'm gonna hang up the phone and go take me a two hour walk and really let what i say marinate well go ahead Put it I on, because I'm going to cuss your ass out. Go ahead. Yeah. Part I love you, though. It, it, Wait, it, hold on. Before, before I go, I, I need you to know I love you, but go some, ahead. Yeah, some of this is because of that, hot town. But some of this is because we have people raising our children who are preoccupied with all things that don't matter. And this is just this the beginning. They have wrote our, our African-American uh, ancestors, the scholars, they all wrote about those people that just couldn't get right. And some of this is because of that. Because I see a whole lot, a whole lot of dumb shit being done by black people. And I'm going to tell you, it's counterproductive to our progression to ignore it, to not speak on it, and and to give somebody else the blame for it. Some of this is us not doing what we have that that is natural in us and that we've been raised to do. Some of us have just been, been lost. We've been stuck. We, we, we've been sucked into this culture that is not really for us. That we can't. I mean, that we become a part of. That really, it's not up us. Well, well, well the get, drugs, all get, of that stuff. And so get, I can't. Some get, of this shit, I got to blame myself for. I can't just be like, you know, I, I got to blame myself for not speaking up, for not calling people out on their shit. Like, let, this, Lady get out of here, Lady J. Some of this shit we can control, Lady J. Start calling people out on it. Hurry up. Uh, oh, man. Listen, get to the part where I'm supposed to cuss you out at because you ain't said shit that ain't. I mean, usually you say something that might not make no sense to me and shit. I, all you saying, I'm not even arguing. I, I don't even have an argument for anything you're saying. So you need to get to the part that you're supposed to be pissing somebody off. I that. just said it. Oh, that was whack. That was, you know, I mean, I that, just said it. That was, people need to keep it real. All right, I got to keep it real because I'm trying to time keep out, it real. Time out. Hold on. We do that here on Giambi Journey. I have to go to give you the fuck <laughs> real. That was fuck real. You build me up all the way. Real. Now Now I'm mad because you lied to me and you didn't deliver. What did I lie about? You said you was going to piss me off. You was going to say no, something that was controversial. Because you going to say that's not the focus. 
No, I already fun. told you what the folks did. What you talking about is shit that we have to work on at home. It's shit that me and you've been working on consistently. This is why you go to Simpson. This is why I support Simba. This is why I do the Capital Troops. This is why I work with Tywe Village. This is why I do the Giami Journey show. So we're working on this aspect of it. Now, another piece that you might, it might be kind of hard for your big uh, Pisces heart to accept is that as you get older and you get more bitter like myself, you will realize that everybody ain't us. Just because they look like us. They mean they us. And you can spend your time trying to save them, and I will salute you. But there will come a time where you will eventually realize that all these motherfuckers weren't designed to be saved. Some of them was just born to do some of the shit that they doing. And if they can't get it, then they are, they, they in the way. That's why I keep on telling people to form tribes, start building up your borders. Because there's certain, certain shit that goes on in our community, and I agree with you. That is totally unacceptable. That we can't blame nobody else. And even if it is a result of that, if you do not admit that it's a result of that and you're not trying to master it or you're tr- not trying to do better, then we have to make a move on your uh, ass. One thing that you have to do is you have to wake up. Because, uh, again, I really, I really. If motherfuckers burning down and downtown. I you, and if motherfuckers burning and down downtown. If motherfuckers rebelling in all these cities right now is not waking motherfuckers up, then they, they're, they're not asleep. They're dead. If I just co- told you it could be waking people up if every time I go to my social media, people are arguing. And now, and I told you about people that shit anyway. Wait, hold on. Over that I don't told even matter. you don't listen to me. First off, I told you. See, you haven't come into GM yet. We don't beef on Facebook. You want to argue with motherfuckers? You want to prove your point? We don't do that shit. Hold on. And then you peruse that shit. You per- you peruse that shit. You know what I'm saying? You a lightweight troll on that motherfucker. You need to get up off of that shit and use it and use it. Listen, if you seeing all that shit, you a goddamn troll. You need to use it for business. You, If you see all the shit that you seeing, use a goddamn troll. I'm just letting you know. No, I, I, I do see it. Okay, because you're a troll. I'm going to tell you why I see it. Because you're a troll. It. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's okay to be a troll. You don't have to but defend your troll them. When I get my business card, when I get my business card, there'll be a couple things that I need to do eventually. Mm-hmm. But when I get my title, there's a couple things that, that I need that, that I need to be a part of that. And part of that is this piece about propaganda and socialization. So when I'm watching and I'm reading and I'm I, I, I'm collecting data and making assertions about what I see on the internet and on the social media network, you trolling? It's part of my. This is part of my learning. You're this trolling. This is part of my learning. This is a part of my understanding. This is a part of my speech. Whenever it is that I have an opportunity to speak about propaganda. And the way it's used against us, and the platforms that we have that we don't use at our best disposal. So, and no, I'm not trolling. Okay, I mean, I, I hear you, but listen. Part of that, part of that, if you call it trolling, I call it commentary, and I do that whether I'm on the internet or on one of these blog talk shows. It's whatever, and it's commentary. Okay, whatever. And so I must be trolling you too, then. I mean, you, you, I, I thought you, I thought you broke up with me. I, I ain't heard from you a while, so you know, you know, our favorite troll just left and went to other people's. She, I, she just let I us have, know. She let I, us know. Have, she, she, she brought. She, have, she, she, she podcasting I abroad. Have, she, she's traveling around to other people's shows, fucking with them, and she has turned her back on Jamie Jenner. She only got time for us on Nia Day at eight p.m. Ain't that some shit? You hide your. You scared of water? Oh, never mind. Are you ready to say goodbye, I Baby, I love you, but listen. Stop. Can I say goodbye to the people? Yeah, I'm gonna let you say goodbye, but you gonna have to. We gonna have to talk to you. We gonna have to talk about your social habit, your social media habits. Period. It, it's important. No, it's. I mean, I'm gonna tell you why it's important. You gotta, you got to be mindful right now. This how I'm gonna give you an example. TikTok. 
that fast. Like I'm like I'm talking about all the platforms. I'm not clear. I'm too old to even figure out Snapchat. But I'm just telling you, you have to be mindful of these platforms. Mindful. And you have to know that these, this is our platform. They've given us something. Now, we we have refused to use it. I, I think, no, not all of us. But uh, we could be using it in a much better way to bring change. Because it is essentially, we can't control what's on the TV, per se. But this is a whole media outlet. And it's amazing. And I am uh, excited about the uh the 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 what could be done have you have you done you know anything with tiktok if, have i done anything with what tiktok you just got done talking about tiktok are you you got you have a tiktok channel no i'm not getting on tiktok but i'm just saying that you have to know so you just trolling how, what you just trolling why don't you get on and do do some videos never, on tiktok I well, don't have TikTok. I just download TikTok. You I'm said we got to be mindful of it. Up. You know, we got to be mindful we do. of it. Because guess what? When we raising up these young soldiers and these warriors, guess where they can take the message to? Guess oh. where we know you? It's to so social easy. media. Now there's a term where your TikTok name is. Oh, TikTok right now. And when TikTok is done and they move on to the next thing, we need somebody to put together propaganda to be released on the next thing. And then when the next so, thing, thing comes, so you we got, need somebody. We need young, who young people. Well, who the young people? Well, hold on, cool. Then you, you, you know, who the young people are you using to get a message across on TikTok? Who is what? A young person. Because you, you a person of influence. I did it. I'm, I'm well, Lady J, I'm you, then what you, I'm no, Lady J, lady, lady, you call it collecting data, you call it collecting data, I call it trolling. Yeah, Nigga, get busy, it. you stop trolling, and get your ass on these I'm social networks and post up shit that people need to say. I, I may not have done anything, but what I'm telling you is that I see... I see other people doing things uh, because TikTok's making all the way to Facebook. Um, it makes it to Twitter. I see other people doing things, and I know that these platforms are just what we need when you think about putting out a word, putting out an image, putting out a message, putting out propaganda to bring about change. All right, but I got to go because I'm, 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 I'm super late now. Because Lady J wanted to do a call, but because Lady J wanted to do a call, I had to go on and do it. <clears throat> we had to wear a. a re- <coughs> you ain't got to do nothing but say black and die, old man. Um, I I know I'm a nation builder. I got to provide for my nation. You needed an outlet this morning, and you had something that was on your heart, and I think you might have touched somebody out there, somebody, and it might not even been for you. It might have been for somebody out there that might have needed to hear what you had to say. So, I'm doing my job. So we want to give Lady J a round of applause. We're going to give her a second. To, well, we're going to give her about 10 minutes to do her closing because she never really short. But anyway. It ain't 10 minutes. You're talented. You're, you're talented. We're going to Lady J. Do your closing statement. I, I, I want to say this. I'm going to go to the bathroom while hey. you're doing it because you're still going to be talking by the time I come back. Wow. I'm going to the bathroom. No, I Family. I, I want to give I'm, a round of applause I'm, to Lady J. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, I'm going to the bathroom. Wait. I want to give a shout out to um, those uh, black businesses. Um, um, I'm sorry, I want to give a shout out to black businesses and all of those who support those businesses in and around their community. Um, I want to remind you to, to, that it is our time to rise and shine. Remember, we are in the midst of the Great Awakening. We've been here. We've been here since I don't know how long. Um, today and every day do something in the name of the movement. Read a book, article, donate to a cause, volunteer your time and or services. Go um, downtown, lend your voice, um, time to protest there. Um, use your social media networks to enlighten and inform, sign a petition, march, plan a peaceful protest. Again, they're already doing that. Participate in the boycott. That should be today and every day. If we want change, we got to learn how to keep more of it in our pocket. Um, you guys sharing the messages, the protests, the images, um, not the ones that are, uh, you know, to be damaging, but the powerful, the positive images 
that is what we need um, right now. Let's get the message out. Um, it is our time, each one teach one. United we stand, divided we fall. Bye, Hachim. Did not tell y'all. I went to the bathroom. I washed my hands. There were no towels in the bathroom, so I had to walk to the kitchen to get and 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 still made it back in time. So, those ladies and gentlemen, you have met the Lady J, Lady J, the boss. All right, but anyway, family, I'm about to get up. I'm running late as hell, Man, so I'm gonna spend the time there at school catching up on what I need to catch up on. But family, y'all have a beautiful day. I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are. And I'm going to thank you for joining us on Giami Journey Media. Bay is an acronym, Mind, Body, and Universal Balance Empowerment Institute. It is also Zulu. It means lion, of course. With that, we're working with resiliency. We're working with trauma-informed care. With all of the mind-body connections that we need to not only address so many of our ills, but also to heal from them. giant step that does it it's a lot of little steps author unknown how do you regulate yoga meditation and bube mind body universal balance empowerment we're waiting for you how do you regulate To have melanin embedded in our skin is a gift. Oh my gosh, when I say too black, you say too strong. Too black? Too strong? Yeah.
Oh my gosh, when I say too black, you say too strong. Too black.